Hello. It's probably been too soon since my last video, but whatever. We're back again with more Frost Mage changes. Uh, and they did, you know, a lot of stuff here. I think most people will be happy with these two changes. They removed Evan Bolt, which helps uh, fix button bloat that was happening in single target. And then they also made Cold Snap not work in single target, which means you don't need to be in melee in single target, which is also, you know, good for design, kind of bad for padding. Because um, beforehand, when you're playing Cold Snap and Single Target, take Sarkarath, for instance, you, know, you don't have to drop Single Target to take um, your AoE, burst AoE option. Uh, so you would have been really, really good at Sarkarath in Tempo 1.5. But now, you're going to be a lot worse than you would have been. Uh, but that's okay for the trade-off. And then the other issue is that now you actually have to hit three enemies, and Kind of Gold's kind of finicky. It's a pretty small range. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, kind of hoping that they make the range larger. And then the other other issue is that both of these actually gave you a lot more winner's chill stacks in single target. Because Evan Bolt guaranteed you a brain freeze every 30 seconds. And Coldest Snap guaranteed you a uh, winner's chill on enemy every 45 seconds. And now you are losing both those. And we already couldn't shatter every glacial spike in single target. So now we can't shatter even more glacial spikes in single target, which is pretty bad uh, damage wise. So, you know, I made a forum post as I like to do. I was talking about, you know, one of the big parts is the, the flurry generation um, since they just removed those two, you know, big sources. So ideally they, they can do this one where Flurry has like a shorter CD, but there's also Hasted. Makes it a lot nicer in your cooldowns too when you're rocking like, you know, 115% haste and you got like a 12 second or less Flurry cooldown. That's pretty cool. That'd be pretty sick. Um, or they could just do the top one, which you can read. But I've mentioned it a few times. It's it's kind of kind of long. Basically, Brain Freeze is only delayed in its application after you, press, after you cast Frostbolt. Uh, if you already have Brain Freeze. So if you tried to like Frostbolt into Flurry with one of your natural charges, and then you get Brain Freeze from that Q, like from your Frostbolt while you're queuing your Flurry, it'll just consume the Brain Freeze instead, and then you like lose out on charges and stuff. So yeah, anyway, um, let's talk about, you know, how these kind of affect what we were going to do. So they buffed Ice Lance, which is really good. We were kind of pretty close to not using Change Frost again, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So they're Flurry to Compensate. This doesn't matter. Uh, buff Chain Reaction. This is because they're nerfing Cold to Snap. And so they buff Chain Reaction. They buff Slick Ice to make it so you want to use it uh, more often. It's not like a massive nerf. And they nerf Brain Freeze. Um, this plus the Flurry change might have just been because they buffed Slick Ice. So you know, you'll be Frost Bowling a lot more now. Um, and because of that, they wanted to make sure that you that Flurry wasn't too powerful. But this was good too, you know, nice for AoE. So this is a sim. This is what we kind of look like uh, in single target now. We actually didn't lose that much damage. This was kind of what we were simming at in single target earlier, like 152,000. Now we're just simming for 149,000. Um, still a bit better than in this tier uh and this is just running with these talents so you're in slick ice freezing winds looks like we will be using freezing winds and single target which is good um you know one of the things you might want to keep an eye on is the fact that we're currently losing nope not that one wrong sim that's awkward i'll just do this this is actually an aoe this is our aoe talents we're currently losing like 14 percent aoe or single target damage when we take our AoE setup, which is, you know, not ideal. It's a lot of damage to lose, um, but we'll see how it turns out, I guess. You know, I, I haven't mentioned this on the forum post. I wasn't really planning to. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, this is our AoE build. <laughs> Could be sim more, but, you know, kind of what we're, we're looking at. You just frostbite probably isn't going to compete with chain reaction anymore just because... Um, Frostbite's so conditional and chain reaction is kind of good given they buffed Ice Lance a lot, but we'll sim this some more. I haven't done any AoE sims. So that's kind of an overview of you know all the changes and how it's gonna affect us. Um the other thing we could talk about 
is I can actually show you some of the AOE stuff. So how we're going to be playing AOE, because we did a lot of, I implemented a lot of shower stuff, and some people did some improvements to it as well. So now we have a much better idea of how we're going to play. It's probably worth noting um, that there is a pretty large difference in our damage when we're fighting freezable versus non-freezable enemies. This isn't fully up to date, but this is like a freezed sim. So, you know, mobs can be frozen during the sim. This is a sim where mobs can't be frozen. Yeah, you know, that's just a casual 65,000 DPS difference. So, yeah, you'll want to be uh, hidden mobs that can be frozen <laughs> for sure. Uh, but we'll still go on to the rotation. So, sequence table, because I think this is a little easy to understand. You know, you're going to precast Blizzard, use Icy Veins. It's going to water jet just because this helps stack up your um, Chilt of the Core buff for your damage thing. Then you just, you know, pretty common Frozen Orb, Comet Storm. We already have our Blizzard down, which lets us do this. So we Frozen Orb, Comet Storm, Ten of Gold. Then another Frozen Orb, Comet Storm. Uh, this is a pretty important sequence. Like, you want to do Frozen Orb first because you have your Blizzard ticking here. So you, like, need the CDR to happen. Uh, also, if you Comet Storm, then Ten of Cold, you'll actually shatter it is good. So you're actually shattering both this Comet Storm and this Comet Storm. Pretty sick. Free Blizzard, you're going to Ice Lance consume the, the kind of cold, like Winter's Chill stuff. Then you're going to be flurrying um, just so you can, you know, get your Icicles so you can pull up to Glacial Spike and then you shatter the Glacial Spike with Ice Nova and then you're doing the standard Frozen Orb Blizzard stuff. And then you do Flurry Ice Lance Ice Lance. So you're going shifting power when you know, everything's on cooldown. Do another Blizzard. Ice Lance, Ice Lance, Glacial Spike. Uh, you're going to freeze the Glacial Spike. Make sure it gets frozen. Uh, and then you just, you know, pretty standard stuff. Comet Storm. This one probably should have been frozen in some way, but we'll look at that later. And yeah, that's kind of what you're doing. You're just Ice Nova and Glacial Spike. You're freezing it. Try not to use Frost Nova because generally Frost Nova is, you know, not ideal because it does no damage. Um, so, you know, you're pretty much barely going to be using this. So, yep. And that's just how you play. It's actually pretty simple, right? You kind of just glacial spike when you can, shatter it with an AoE shatter, so it crits against both targets. Um, Blizzard and Frozen Orb off CD, Flurry whenever, Ice Lance to generate Icicles, and then you just do this kind of combo, Frozen Orb, Comet Storm, kind of cold, Frozen Orb, Comet Storm, every 45 seconds. So, yeah, gives you an idea of how we're going to play an AoE. Pretty simple, and this is going to be um, very good burst, right? Doing two comet storms back to back with two frozen orbs, with them being, you know, against frozen targets for six seconds from kind of cold. Very, very strong. And again, you know, kind of looking like this is going to be area we build. Uh, some things might change a little bit. Again, a lot of this is still in fluctuation, so it's, it's definitely almost certainly going to change before this gets live, uh, and that'll be in my guide video whenever I do that, which might not be until actually after 10.1.5 launches, because I want to make sure that things aren't going to massively change after I've made it. Uh, but if we're in a pretty stable spot, you know, as 10.1.5 approaches, I'll, I might consider doing it early. So hope this was helpful. Uh, you know, I'll link this down below if you want to like this. You don't really have to, but you can. They, you know, keep not implementing some talents that they said they would implement, which is kind of funny. Um, so, you know, maybe they'll fix that. <laughs> because the Frozen Orb Radius would be would be very nice to have, and it's not implemented yet. So. Also, you know, there's some issues with the chemical. But, yeah. Thanks for watching.